Hello, this is The Wacky Musician, and we're celebrating the American Independence Day with 4th of July firework maracas. And you see one right there. Let's have a listen. So, to make your firework maraca, first of all, don't forget to like the video. Assuming you like it, we're sad if you don't. And be sure to subscribe to get more Make and Play Paper videos, as well as several sheet music videos and lots of other fun, wacky musician things. What you need is paper. This is scrap paper. I always use scrap paper. Old music misprints. No, just a fair bit of paper. Regular 8.5 by 11 is fine. You will need tape. Hello, tape. You will need scissors. I do this. Hello. You will need glue. Elmer's glue. Not a commercial, just being silly. And you will need some 4th of July garland. And that's, uh, you get this on camera. That's this right here. 4th of July garland. Kind of like Christmas garland, but in red, white, and blue. This came from the Dollar Tree. Um, no endorsements for Dollar Tree. It's just uh, where I get a lot of my supplies. Uh, the, the Dollar Tree has these, uh, probably other dollar stores. Anything along this nature, uh, preferably in a garland form, like a, a rope-like form like this. You'll see how that's useful when we make it. You will also need a ruler. Ooh, I won't make the usual ruler joke. Apparently I will drop the ruler though. And you'll need a pencil, because we're going to need to mark up some measurements. This is a, pretty much covers everything you would need for a STEM project. If you watch the beginning of the other Maraca video, which I'm going to have a card to very shortly here, it'll tell you how the different STEM, or even STEAM, I mean it is art right here. And if you don't know what that means, then you probably don't care and you can just ignore it. But if you do need STEM or STEAM ideas, ch check out the card when it comes up for the other Maraca video. Let's get on with it. So, what you see here is what you will need to start out with. Uh, I'm not going to be redundant and go over all these steps again. Rather, I'm going to send you to the video I mentioned just a minute ago, the Make and Play Paper Maraca Hearts. That was a Valentine's Day video. I'm going to have a card appear in just a moment, and you want to click that card. It'll take you to the starting point for that video for making this, and you want to follow that video until you have something that looks like this. That is stopping right before you make the hearts that go on it. Um, I will put a card there at that point as well that will send you back here in, in the correct place of this video. So, when you come back, you should have something that looks like this, which is basically a maraca without any pretty stuff. So let's make it pretty. Or in this case, 4th of July for our firework maracas. So, take your... So, take your 4th of July garland, and take a piece of tape. Hope that wasn't too close to the camera. Take a piece of tape, and you're going to tape your garland the end of it onto the top of the triangle pyramid here for your maraca. So I'm just taping it right here. So it's now attached to the garland. I mean, the garland's now attached to the maraca. I'm going to wrap it over the top and down the other side. And now I'm going to tape it right here onto the stick. It's right at the base of the stick. And make sure you have enough tape to get over the garland pieces so it actually sticks to the stick. A lot of stick in that statement. A lot of S's too. So there's my tape. Make sure it's on the paper as well as the garland. I just lost it. There it is. Get it all the way around. All right. So now the garland is attached both here, it's taped, and right here on the stick. So next, we're going to bend the garlic. Gar I said garlic. <laughs> we're going to bend the garland, not the garlic. Garlic doesn't bend that easy. It usually just breaks. And we're going to wrap it around the top again like that. And then we're going to do a circle around the base. So we come around to this blank part and go up again and over the top and then we're back at the base. See that? Hopefully you followed that. Oh, you Let me undo it and I'll show you again just in case you didn't. So we had taped it. Get it all the way back? Okay. We taped it here and then we taped it to the stick here and then we have garland going here. We're going to take a side that doesn't have it, go up over it and wrap around. To the other side then we're here and if you really want to secure it you could put another piece of tape there and then we're going to roll the thing so that it wraps around the pole once or twice and then find an area that doesn't have enough like I see white here and I'm going to go up here and go around again looking good isn't it now I'm going to put another piece of tape here on the handle to make sure it stays in place Make sure your tape can reach. That may not have been a long enough piece. I need another piece. 
Make sure you get a long piece to get around all the garland pieces. Yeah. Wrap it around. Yeah. There we go. So now it's attached there. Now I'm going to take it to the middle here and I'm just going to roll it around a couple times. You can decide how many times you want to do. Just make it look nice and full. Well, that's probably good. And then I'm going to cut my garland so that it's, the rest of it's no longer attached. But did it not go all the way through it? There it goes. All right, so it's been detached. Right now I have a loose end. You gotta always tie up your loose end. That joke. Um, we're gonna use glue to deal with that loose end. So I got good old Elmer's glue here. You can use other types of glue. It doesn't have to be Elmer's. You should be surprised that it's not dollar store glue. If I was working with a bunch of kids, I would have used dollar store glue to save money. Because you know, you'll use tons of it. All right, that's not coming out, hold on. So on the, this is the piece that's sticking up. I'm gonna lay some glue on the back side of the piece sticking up. Can you see that? I don't know, but I put glue there, whether you can see it or not, I put it there. And I'm gonna wrap it in and press the glue down. And hold it for a moment. Because you know, how much glue doesn't stick right away. So you need to hold it for a little bit. Make sure it has time to set. At which point I'm gonna move these out of the way. The piece that broke off. Just be patient, hold it. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. Um, probably not long enough, but maybe it'll stick. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to let go. You probably wouldn't consider this ready to use yet because it needs to dry. I usually have a pretty firework maraca there. Just give it time to dry, and then you can shake the whatever you want out of it. <laughs> so let me grab the other one. Now you have your two maracas. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. And that's all. This is a wacky musician. I usually go poof or something, but I'm not on the camera, so we'll have the maracas go poof. How about that? So in five, four, three, two, one, maracas go poof. Where'd my maracas go?